Hi, second grade. Since we don't have live lessons today, our math lesson is going to be a video. The cool thing about a video is that you can pause it if you ever need to. If you ever need me to slow down or you're participating, you could pause it. So that's kind of cool. Um, I'll miss being with you live today, but I'm glad that we can still have our math lesson together. So I'm actually going to share the presentation just like I would if we were together on live. We're going to be talking about doubles and halves today. So we're going to start with a warm up with our fingers. And I want you to follow along, even though it's a video, I want you to follow along, okay? So we're going to start with a number warm up with our fingers. Can you show me seven fingers? Can you show me nine fingers? And how quick can you do it? Can you show me six fingers? So by now we should be pretty used to five and counting on. So five, six, seven. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? Always knowing that we have five and can count on from that. Now show me four fingers. Look at these hands. How many fingers are on the left hand? How many fingers are on the right hand? How many fingers in all? Four. So if you showed me four this way at first, that's true, that's four. But you could also show me four this way, half and half. In today's lesson, you'll be using your fingers and your number racks to investigate doubles and halves. Hold up four on one hand. Now use both hands to double the number. So here's a hint. If I'm gonna double, my other hand has to look the same as that one, right? So if this one's four and I'm doubling, this one has to also be four. If I have two and I'm doubling, two and two. If I have three and I'm doubling, three and three. So hold up four and double it. How many? It's eight. So think, what does it mean to double a number? Get out your number racks, slide some beads in both rows all the way to the left to show me a doubles fact. So pause the video if you need to. I'm gonna get out my number rack too. I'm going to slide beads in both rows over to show a doubles fact. I want them both to match. So I don't want to have two and three. I want to have two and two equals four. I could also have three and three equals six. Good job. Does the number rack over here show a doubles fact? I want you to think about that for a second. I'm going to make my number rack look the same as that one. What do you think? I have 10 on the top and 6 on the bottom. Is that a doubles fact? It is not. Show me 6 on your number rack using equal sets of beads. Did you know you were doing division? You just did six divided by two. There are three on each. Three plus three is six. The last thing you're gonna do is you're going to play the workplace count and compare twos. So I'm just gonna show you that really quickly. We've actually talked about this one before. Um, you could play this with one person or you could play it and just play turn after turn or you can play it together. Each pair of players gets a game board and a deck of cards. Each player draws a card and counts by twos or by twos and ones to determine how much the card is worth. Put the card where they belong on the game board and then spin the spinner to decide who gets to take them. So we've talked about this one before, but let's look. If I'm playing by myself, which I am, I would pick a card. I'm player one and then pick a card three plus three. Hmm. So now I have to quickly see, see this doubles fact over here? Two plus two is four. Three plus three is six. I put the bigger one in greater than and this one in less than, but guess what? I don't know who won yet. Does greater than win? Oh, less than wins. So that means I get both of these cards. Then I get to do it again. Oh, it's counting by twos, and it's nine plus nine. You might need to use your number rack to figure that out. But nine plus nine is 18, and if I'm counting by twos, 
18, 20, 22, 24. 24 is greater than 18. And which one wins? <gasps> the less than wins again. So that means that the less than that person gets both of those cards. Okay, so that is our workplace for today. The last thing that you're going to do is Home Connections book page 19 and 20. Make sure you take pictures of those and upload them. That was our math lesson. The great thing about a video is that you can listen to it again if you have any questions. Have a great day.